Uh, let's talk about Ryan Sessegnon now because there's been an update on him from last night. Um, and they've said that Ryan Sessegnon has a massive future at Spurs. Him and Nuno have sat down, they've spoken together, and apparently um, Sessegnon is going to be uh, quite heavily used this season for Tottenham Hotspur. They're not looking to ship him out on loan, um, and the only reason we haven't seen him around is because he did get a bit of an injury, so he hasn't yeah. been able to show uh, Nuno what he can actually do on the training ground yet. But it, he is uh, quite favoured by Nuno, and he is going to be used quite a lot. It's just a shame he's uh, been held back by this injury, um, and he won't be back until uh, just about when the season's starting. Yeah, again, it's a player who um, Echo Share says that um, uh, Nuno is a big fan of, and he's going to keep him around. So I think that's good. That's promising. It's a bit. It's a big shame that he's got another injury. He seems to be a player who does pick up quite a few a lot, injuries yeah. doesn't he he came to Spurs injured it took yeah. him a while to um, get fully fit um, and, and he, he had those injuries at Hoffenheim as well yeah and he had a big injury at Hoffenheim ruled him out for a few months um, and now he's got another injury, which is apparently he's he's in a he's in a fight he's in a battle to be fit for the for the first game of the season. So, seeing as he's in a battle, he's definitely not going to be involved probably until September, which is frustrating. Um, so that's a shame. But if we can get him uh, fully fit again and we can get him um, back to his best and fully involved, then I think uh, I think he's got a promising future at Tottenham, and, and I think it's positive that Nuno's a big fan of him and wants him around because um, it shows he believes in him he believes in his quality and maybe he can uh he thinks he can bring the best out of him which is good because i think i'd rather regulon and session are battling out together than uh, than ben davis because i think for me ben davis as a left back in a back four i just don't know if he i, I don't know if he's up to it anymore i really don't i think defensively he he's still a uh, decent but i think if you're really wanting to play an attacking system with flying fullbacks i think when davis was 24 Four twenty-five, and he was young. He still had a lot of energy in his legs. I think he was—he wasn't the quickest, but he could get up and down the pitch um, uh, just about well enough to make an impact. But nowadays, I just feel like he doesn't have as much energy as he used to, I and it's very difficult for him to be as attacking as he used to be. Look, I get that, but you know, you can play a defensive left back. Um, but I felt last year when Regulon got injured, I thought when he came in, he did pretty well, Ben Davis from left back I think for the most part he did well and I think that when it started to go wrong is when he just kept getting overused overplayed overused overplayed I think if he plays the odd game here and there I think I think he's fine Ben Davis but obviously you don't want him starting week in week out that's the problem but I think Ben Davis is good to have around the squad because he'll be fighting for that left left back spot which Regulon has it on his own right now and also he can come into a back three as well play that left side of a back three so I think he's a good player to have around yeah, I just don't. Feel, I'm just not that confident anymore um, with Davis. But do you not think back. he did well when he came came in for the injured Regulon last year? Um, he, yeah, there were some At games he beginning. did well. There were some games he did well, and I think the way that Mourinho played. Um, a lot of the time suited him because he was it was quite deep and he was playing um, quite in a in a position where uh, he didn't have to move over the halfway line yeah, too much. Aurier was bobbing forward exactly, like so I think back. that helped him. But now. Um, if Nuno, it depends how Nuno wants to play, but I just feel like when when Davis was tasked to be more offensive, he got caught out so many times, and I don't think he has that ability as much as he used to, because um, I think he actually used to be quite a decent attacking fullback. I think there was I remember one season where he used to get he got quite a few assists, and he was actually quite a decent goal threat, and he created a few chances. But I feel like. Um, his le- I feel like he's not as athletic as, and even though he's not that old, he's still like 28, 29, he's bordering on 30. I just don't think he has the energy of, of, of maybe, especially what other fullbacks have. And he, the, for a player who was never the quickest, now he's even losing a bit of that speed, which which was just about keeping him mm. pace. That's where I think issues arise with Davis. I get that, but you know, you can utilize him in different ways. I still think he's a good option to have like in the squad obviously you don't want him to be starting week and week I think out. in a back three uh, he can play well in a back a left centre back I've got no issue with him and even as a left wing back I think he can do a decent job because he would have more cover when he goes forward so he has more license to go forward but I just feel like in a, in a back four as a left back I'm just not that confident about him mm. anymore to be honest that's just my opinion mm.